Oh yeah. So this is the E34 rear subframe that we're going to modify for the Model S drive unit and uh, we're now going to do a precision modification with the assistance of our gas torch. So we have to get rid of this differential uh, shield so that we can mount the drive unit in here. So basically what we've got to do is because the E31 rear subframe is so integrated and there's so many links and uh, various other suspension arms going on here that it would be really impossible to mount our drive unit in here. So we're going to remove the entire subframe. And we're going to use that E34 subframe uh, with our Tesla drive unit. And then we're going to put the whole thing in here. We're going to have to cut out the boot floor around here. Uh, so we'll be getting rid of all this, getting rid of the chargers out of the back. Uh, probably get rid of the demo box here. We're not going to need that anymore because we'll be using the Tesla charging port. And the Tesla 10 kilowatt charger. Uh, so yeah, so all this has got to go away and obviously we're taking out the original drive train here with the Siemens motor, taking out the battery and all this stuff's got to go. So yeah, here comes the first part coming off now. Do you think we get a job at Tesla, Dave? Okay. Do you think we get a job at Tesla? At Tesla? Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Yeah, we're definitely... Uh, we're definitely the type of people that they hire. Okay, so right now, we have the E34 subframe uh, kind of basically mocked up here along with the Tesla drive unit. And uh, it looks like it's going to work out nicely. Uh, so basically, got to get the process started now of taking out all of the bits that are in the, <coughs> the Panzer now. And um, then we'll get the existing rear subframe out. And uh, we should be able to get this baby, uh, start basically working out how we're going to get this baby in there. Okay, so just had an epic uh, struggle getting this battery out of the front, but it's now out. Uh, so that space is clear to let us remove the motor and the gearbox on the next day. And then we are going to get the rear subframe out. And then, once we have the rear subframe out, we can start figuring out how all of this stuff is going to go in. 
So that's the plan, folks. Um, hope you've enjoyed it today. And uh, we will see you next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And check out links in the description. See you, see you next time.